Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is version 22K504. This is the latest build, as I've said, for the dev channel. And this build brings up a lot of new changes and improvements and also fixes. And I can assure you that this build is a little bit more interesting than the other ones that we had in the previous weeks because we have a few interesting changes that we're gonna talk about in this video. Before doing anything, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you will be notified when we post another video like this about other Windows 11 builds. So those things being said, let's get on with the video. In this build, we have some changes regarding the touch keyboard and basically Microsoft expanded the 13 themes that they had for the touch keyboard to now apply to other input experiences, including IMEs, the emoji panel and voice typing. So to test this out, let's go into the settings app and type in here touch keyboard and let's see how we can apply those themes to other input experiences. So for example, I'm gonna get this blue green theme for the input keyboard. Let me let me also enable the touch keyboard on my uh, taskbar so we can see better that the theme is applied, which looks really good. So now let's test this out. So basically now themes like this for the touch keyboard should be applied to other input experiences as Microsoft says, but unfortunately, this isn't available to all insiders because Microsoft is planning to monitor feedback regarding this changes. So if I go, for example, in the search and use the keyboard combination Windows H for the voice typing, you can see that this is not applied because I don't have that on my computer on this build. But of course, you're gonna have on the screen some screenshots so you can see how that looks. And I think it looks really good. And I'm hoping that Microsoft will bring that sooner on my computer as well. In this build, Microsoft also added the ability for personalized combinations of emoji based on face and skin tones of family members, couples with heart, kissing and people holding hands. So if we use the Windows plus point keyboard combination, we can type for example family here. And if we select the emoji and click on plus, we can, as you can see, we can do a um, custom face and skin tone. We can choose the color of the skin tone, which is uh, really nice. And basically we can do custom emojis with this new feature. It looks really good. I'm not sure how many of you will use this, but it's really, really interesting. Again, this isn't available to all insiders because Microsoft is also planning to monitor the feedback and see how it lands before they push it to everyone. If you remember in the last few builds, Microsoft added a new mute icon in the taskbar or when you are in a Microsoft Teams meeting, well, now you can use the Windows Alt plus K keyboard combination on your keyboard to toggle that new icon, which is really, really good. Of course, again, if you don't have the mute icon yet and you were Windows operating system, you'll have to wait a bit in other versions because as I've said previously, Microsoft is slowly rolling out these new features. So uh, for me, it's not that great because I would like to test out all the new features as soon as they come out, but that's all we can do. In this build, Microsoft is also introducing .NET Framework 4.8.1 that will bring native ARM64 support for the .NET Framework runtime. This was a feature requested by a lot of developers. Microsoft is also making a change in the settings app. So now on new installs, the touch indicator option will now be turned off by default under settings, accessibility, and mouse pointer and touch. So as a part of this change, Microsoft also added a link to this settings page from settings, Bluetooth and devices, and then touch. And also they made it so that the press and hold visual is now always displayed regardless of the setting state. And also in this build, we have a new design or a new look for the Your Phone app, for the Your Phone app in Windows 11. As you can see here, I don't have the Your Phone app yet set up with my phone, but of course you're gonna have screenshots so that you know how the new design and how the new look will roll out. Basically, the Your Phone app is evolving with an updated design that puts notifications at the center. The app can also bring you an organized feed of your real-time notifications across all your most used apps. You'll always have access to your messages, calls, and photos with the added benefit to stay on top of important messages and other notifications more efficiently with this glanceable view. And of course, the app also 
adopts the Windows 11 design so that the Windows 11 experience for this app will be very good. Regarding fixes, Microsoft fixed an issue that caused the icons to not display correctly in the recommended section of Start. If you open Start and immediate press Shift plus F10 or the context menu, the context menu should be aligned with the search box now, though in my case I'm not really sure that it is aligned with the search box. And a few other important fixes were applied to the taskbar. They fixed an issue that was leading to an explore.exe crash in recent builds if there were issues loading the battery icon in the taskbar. Right clicking the date and time in the taskbar will now dismiss the notification center if it's open so that you can see the context menu options. So let's see if that works now. As you can see, it works and it's really good because that was a little bit of a problem. And of course, we have a whole bunch of other fixes that are not as important. You're going to have the whole list of fixes in the article down below in the description. So you can see the whole list from there. And also in that article, you'll be able to find out about the known issues in this build. So this is the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is 22K504. I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you'll be notified when we post other videos like this about new windows 11 insider preview builds i was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day